<clears throat> I feel like I'm making a mistake right now. This car should not be all white. Sad. Time has come to finally rip off this wrap. This is the second wrap I've ever done in my life. First wrap I ever did was the orange FRS. Second wrap was the white camo on this Evo 10. And man oh man, is it sad to see it go. This wrap is so bad though, so destroyed, especially after this freaking morning and I destroyed the front bumper. <sighs> Look at this thing. That inner fender that I was falling out that I showed you guys in yesterday's video, I didn't notice, but I'm assuming that's what also destroyed the Varus bumper. And if you guys know Varus parts, you know they're not cheap. So that's really disappointing. Of course it can be fixed, but it's gonna need paint work. I'm kind of worried that this wrap is gonna peel some paint just because this wrap has been on this car for, I think the, the white camo side's been on for five or six years. The dark camo, maybe three or four years. I am a little bit worried that it's gonna peel paint on the non-OEM painted parts. The hood, the trunk, skirts, rear bumper, front bumper, none of that is OEM. So there's that. There's a possibility it's gonna peel the paint on there. That's how it looks underneath the wrap though. Nice and protected, nice and shiny. Sad to see it go. Let's get to it. Made some really, really, really good progress. This car is gonna look beautiful. Just nice and clean again, all one color. Let's go ahead and hit the hood. No peeling paint yet on all the factory panels. I am worried, like I said, about this kind of stuff here. Guess we'll see what happens. friends we do have peeling paint on the hood I'm not all that concerned with it because if you can tell the color is significantly off on the hood versus the OEM paint on the car so either way when we leave this thing unwrapped I would not be okay with that and I would end up repainting it anyway I'm curious I don't remember it being that bad I'm curious about all the other panels if we only got the spray hood I'd be stoked but if we have to paint a hood and a bumper and skirts and rear bumper and a trunk that's uh, almost a little too much and not really worth it A bit more progress has been made and here's what we found out so far the body of the car is good the bumper is way miscolored the hood is way miscolored i'm gonna guess that the trunk is miscolored and the rear bumper is probably miscolored if i remember correctly i think the side skirts were a perfect match those were not sprayed by the same painter as everything else and this was back in the day back before i learned how to paint i had someone else spray all these aftermarket parts for this car so it kind of sucks we're definitely gonna have to do some paperwork on this car but let's keep moving forward and 
get the rest of this thing unwrapped. I don't really care about the bumper being miscolored anyway because obviously we need to do some serious work on it after this morning's or last night's shenanigans. This is not good. This is what you consider an improperly prepped bumper. Look how bad it's peeling. All up in here, that whole center section, all up in here, all that clear came off with it. This bumper was already white when I bought it. So I don't know who painted it, but whoever it was, you should probably stop painting. Our last hope is that the side skirts are the same color and they don't peel. I got this bumper done and it's an absolute disaster. All the clear on this whole side peeled. I guess we got a little bit of clear right here, but you can kind of tell anyway, it wasn't sprayed the proper color, but this is gonna be a mess to deal with. Peeling paint is the worst. It's all paint coming off with the wrap on the side skirts as well. So in total, we have a hood to paint. It looks like both side skirts, rear bumper, front bumper, the trunk, most likely just because I feel like if we're gonna make everything else perfect, we might as well make this perfect. And I am, I'm a little bit picky with my cars, as you guys know. So we got some cracking in the trunk, but the whole body of the car is in very good condition. The quarters, the doors, the fenders, all the OEM panels on this car are mint. So I guess if we're looking at the bright side of things, that is the good part. This hood is probably gonna take a while to get fixed up just because it's so cracked up fiberglass wise, but I know we can get it handled. I am a little bit tempted to just say screw it and wrap the car again, but at the same time, I'm getting a little bit sick of wraps on the cars that I really, really, really care about. As you can see now, we're down to just one vinyl wrapped car. The rest are painted. Paint just looks so much better when it's polished up. A fresh paint job, fresh polish. It looks really nice. Wrap is never gonna look as good as paint, at least in my experience. But here's the gist of how it's gonna look. All white. Of course, we're missing a very important piece on the bumper. It's sitting over there on the Evo 4, the carbon fiber front lip. 
That's the most important part of the Varus bumper, but I didn't feel like running it and destroying it in the snow. Drop a comment below. Should we paint all the panels that need paint or should we just grab another roller wrap and wrap this thing a different color? And if you think we should wrap it a different color, let me know what color. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. A little bit worse than expected, but it is what it is. We'll get it fixed either way. Peace out my friends. I'll see you guys in the next one.